Hi everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. As you guys know, I do a lot of work around lean manufacturing, quality control, and also manufacturing efficiency. And I have been studying that for many, many years. And you guys know that when it comes to uh, reliability, in terms of long-term reliability, and also manufacturing quality, and also just the overall production efficiency, of course, Toyota has some of the best uh, system in the world. But outside Toyota, outside maybe even Japan, which brand has a truly world-class manufacturing and quality control that could be as good or almost as good as Toyota? Well, you might be surprised to find out that it is actually Porsche as a brand. Yes, Porsche is part of a Volkswagen group, but when it comes to exterior quality, things that I check for like a gaps and alignment and also fit and finish for the inside and things like a paint job and all that stuff, there's no other brand that I can think of that has a truly good manufacturing system and one of the reasons why is that when Porsche years ago got into a bit of a trouble with the financial situation believe it or not they actually hired ex-Toyota managers to implement TPS which stands for Toyota production system way before any other brands actually adopted that these days most brands most automakers have adopted something similar to TPS but Porsche has been doing it for many decades now and it really shows through so for example if I were to look at the quality of the panel fit and panel gaps it's only 3.2 millimeter there, 3.3, and believe it or not, 3 millimeter here, 3 and 3. I'm sorry that the uh, car is a little bit dirty now, um, but the quality of the panel fit alignment and the overall um, quality of the manufacturing is world class. And paint job is also really good. If you look at the spec of the flakes for the metallic paint, it's hard to see on the camera, but the reflection of the metallic the uniformity of the paint as well as the depth of the color is absolutely fantastic and i wouldn't normally say that too loudly because most brands fall short of my standard but aside from toyota and lexus i would say porsche is the only other brand particularly outside japan that is still truly practicing the most efficient lean manufacturing and what we call the agile thinking method and how do i know that well i have been to porsche factory more than 10 times i think 11 times in Stuttgart, Germany, I watched their production system and I can attest to the fact that their methods are almost as good as the Toyota production system. And in many ways, I think they surpass this pretty well everyone else outside the Toyota world. So I have a lot of respect for what they've done. Also great engineering because they spend so much time and energy in terms of product development and just the overall testing evaluation. By the way, before I go too far, big thank you to Porsche uh, Center Langley which has given me the chance to drive this vehicle. I am a customer of Porsche Center Langley and prior to buying some of the Lexus models, I've owned a number of Porsche, mostly Macan. And so I'm actually a big believer in the Porsche brand, which might surprise you because you know that I talk about Lexus and Toyota a lot. But outside that, I would say Porsche is the only other brand that I really think are following some of the world-class production system, which we often refer to as a Toyota production system and also their reliability has been really fantastic if you look at some data from JD Power Survey and so forth. So let me uh, take you to the inside as well to see what kind of quality we can see and fit and finish. And once again, I'm gonna show you that Porsche, more than any other brands, have achieved a truly world-class standard. Okay, so I'm inside the Porsche Cayenne now, and this is the facelifted version. It's not all new, but they made a lot of changes, especially with the interior. Some of it, uh, maybe I'm not too crazy about, because we lost um, a kind of turn key type start for the uh, engine. Instead, it's now a push button. Still on the left side, which is a Porsche attribute, but I always wanted to uh, turn the key. So that's something I'm a little bit disappointed with. But also keep in mind that they shuffle some of the engine and powertrain as well for 2024. So the base Cayenne still does have the three liter six cylinder engine, but the big news is that Cayenne S, which used to have the 2.9 liter six cylinder engine, that's the same as one that's on the Macan GTS, now have a V8 engine. So that's a big deal to have a turbocharged V8 engine back in the Cayenne lineup and in the form of an S. So you don't have to buy the more expensive GTS, get the V8 anymore, you can get it on the S line. But anyway, let's come back to the interior here. If you look at the quality of the fit and finish and the gap of the parts, also if you look at the stitching, and then the type of material they use, I, I really think that this is something that the German brands, especially Porsche, does really well. I think this is where maybe Lexus needs to learn from the Europeans because they're not using what I would consider to be expensive material. Like these are just mostly plastic, but the combination of the plastic, 
the glossy black and then in some cases leather but also vinyl it just looks fantastic there's nothing that looks cheap everything looks integrated all the gaps between the parts are excellent maybe a little bit too much glossy black here these will all get scratched up so that's something i'm not too crazy about but the overall design with a nice grip here stitching here as well and legendary porsche steering wheel are all beautifully designed it looks upscale and quite functional they made a lot of changes here and now it's a toggle switch for the transmission shifter selection that i'm not too crazy about but this of course comes from the new 911 as well which was all new for 2020 and that one has this type of shifter so they're simply following that trend but what sets the porsche brand apart is the driving character which i'll talk about in a second uh, in terms of everything else in interior you can configure this to the nth degree because it's a porsche you can add tens and thousands of dollars of options and so that's something that is kind of fun to do because you can configure it the way you want it but also it adds enormous amount of uh, money to the final cost of the car because there's so many options you can choose this one has a fair amount of features and options already but it is a base cayenne but you know what it drives like no other lexus or for that matter no other japanese brands there's something quite special about the porsche brand in terms of driving character so let me talk about that while i drive okay so i now have the 2024 cayenne on the road and again this is where all the japanese brands including lexus have to take notice because german brands in general have a really good steering feel and good driving character but in particular, the Porsche just really seems to know how to create the perfect balance between the steering feel, the brake feel, the acceleration, the ride, the comfort versus the sportiness. Most Japanese brands, and for that matter, really pretty well any other brands outside Porsche, just don't get it. Their steering is too light, too numb, or doesn't have any kind of steering effort and feedback. Whereas this Cayenne, even though it's a base Cayenne, it doesn't have a sports package or anything, have that beautiful, almost hydraulic power steering like feel. When I turn the steering like this, it's got a bit of feedback, it pushes back a little bit, ever so slightly to make you feel like this is the same system as the old hydraulic power steering, which isn't the case. This is electric power steering now, but he has the perfect combination. I will say that of all the brands within Japan anyway, Mazda comes closest in replicating this German feel, they got a sporty feel, and they do an excellent job. But if you were to look at, let's say, Lexus or Infiniti or even Acura, they aren't the same. They don't have the feedback, and most of all, it's just somewhat boring to drive. They make some really good powertrain, like, for example, the MDX Type S has amazing and beautiful engine to go with the vehicle, and the steering is quick and actually fast, and even agile but it's not all that fun to drive just because the feedback you get from steering as you move your steering left and right and when you go around the corners uh, aren't the same it's lacking feedback and it's lacking character so my hats off to porsche not just cayenne but especially macan and in fact pretty well every porsche model have this beautiful steering feel and feedback and drivability the other manufacturers have either ignored or cannot seem to replicate and this is what sets it apart so if you're just asking me without looking at the price tag or the overall long-term reliability and so forth uh, and i'm just looking for a daily driver that can maximize my driving character and driving fun it will be the porsche either the cayenne or macan much more so than let's say uh, lexus rx or even lexus gx uh, because they're just not all that fun to drive GX, of course, is more of a, a truck vehicle and is designed for off-roading, so maybe not fair to compare to the Cayenne, uh, but um, Cayenne is just a, a really fun to drive vehicle, and every time I get into it, it's, um, it's a bit of an amazing ride, amazing character, and I have a smile on my face saying, these guys get it. If I ever have to go back to working for a car company that truly, truly emphasizes driving character and driving feel, and is willing to spend the time and investment to come up with something that is worth driving it will be a porsche brand i think i admire them i'm inspired by what they do and i'm always blown away uh, how different their vehicles feel on the road compared to pretty well any other brand but especially compared to lexus because lexus tend to have a very softer character now 
many Lexus buyers want that and they don't want the sporty feel. So there's nothing wrong with their business strategy. It's working for them and they sell a huge amount of cars. But talking to an engineer like myself or someone who really enjoys driving cars and appreciate cars, no question that this will be the only brand that uh, I can think of that is always at the top of the world, always at the world-class level uh, in terms of overall drivability and driving character. Uh, anything else I can talk about? Well, surprisingly, I did drive the Cayenne S with a V8 engine, which is a bi-turbo engine. But surprisingly, Cayenne, which is a base model here with a three liter six cylinder engine uh, that's turbocharged, has a plenty of power and torque. I'm not gonna st step on the gas right now just because we're in a kind of a beach area here. But when I do step on it, it takes off with no hesitation whatsoever. It's very smooth and uh, it's a beautiful engine. It's proven to be reliable, which is why they keep using this three liter engine. And uh, if you look at, let's say, JD Power or Consumer Report data, uh, most of the Porsche brand has been quite reliable, especially compared to other German brands, including the Volkswagen group, such as the Audi and so forth. They haven't been as reliable. And if you look at the Mercedes and BMW, there are a few more uh, notches below Porsche uh, in terms of uh, long-term reliability and overall quality. So I think that's something that has truly become a culture of Porsche to emphasize manufacturing quality, fit and finish, overall long-term reliability, but also engineer them in such a way that you maximize the driving pleasure and driving enjoyment that is built into the DNA of a Porsche in much the same way maybe quality and customer service is built into Lexus DNA. Uh, so I really admire the brand. I truly enjoy driving it and I'm not saying this because I have this car from Porsche Center Langley but I will keep on saying that if you want the most fun to drive larger SUV then look no further you have to pay a little bit more for the Porsche name and the brand but you won't be disappointed this will be a car that I can drive every day and continue to drive uh, for many years to come because it gives me so much enjoyment and I'm willing to sacrifice or take a bit of a risk in terms of long-term reliability and maybe compromise and not buy a Lexus and buy the Porsche instead if I'm looking for a larger SUV in this price range. It's clearly not a cheap car. If you keep adding um, options to it, it becomes ridiculously expensive, but even a cheaper and a smaller Porsche Macan has that quality of the driving fun. In fact, the Macan is even more fun to drive than Cayenne, and that thing is cl as close as you can get to having a, a sports car, but with a SUV body. So those are some of the comments I have about Cayenne. I'm glad I have a chance to drive this for a number of days because it opened my eye again to say that the Japanese brands, especially Lexus, need to benchmark against this. I even said that to some of the Lexus PR people in Japan, I told them go and drive a, a Porsche model and benchmark against your product because then you'll know what the difference is between how their products feel and how the Porsche products feel and maybe the engineers can take that back as a lessons learned and try to recalibrate and retune their models to mimic some of what Porsche has done with their models. I think that would have been win-win if they could just make it a little bit more fun to drive because even my Lexus LC500, which is an amazing engine, lacks steering effort and steering feel. So it's a little bit numb for me and compared to something like 911, which has a really, really great, heavier, stiff, almost perfect balanced steering character. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video. Something a little bit different for you guys. If you want to buy from a brand that is truly utilizing Toyota production system outside Toyota family, this will be it. Porsche has been using it for a long time, so they're efficient, they're very agile in terms of character, but most of all, their quality of standard is very high. I hope you'll take a few minutes to give me a thumbs up, make some comments, and if you haven't done so yet, would you kindly subscribe as well. Until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.